Okay, so I'm going to do a quick tutorial of the auto stop eliminator. I had just installed it and now let's check it out. So I'm going to start the vehicle. And typically when you start, you're going to see uh, that when the auto start is activated, you'll see that the icon is going to be green when the car is actually stopped. You have to be in drive at a uh, light and then you press on that brake hard. Uh, otherwise what's going to happen is when you press the switch to turn it off it's going to turn yellow. That tells you that the feature is now deactivated. So let's go ahead and give this a try. When I switch the vehicle off and leave and come back in and start the car it should automatically go into the disabled mode. Let's give it a go. Car is off. I'm leaving. I come back in. I start the car. And you see it goes into the amber state right there. And now it is held in the disabled mode. I really like this feature, especially with the discount um, GM trucks from Auto Stop Eliminator, I was able to save 15 bucks and this made it worth it. The one thing that I hate the most is the programming is not very good and it often turns the car off at the most inconvenient times. And the one that frustrates me the most is when I drive home, I go to put the car, um, I stop the car to park it in the garage and it turns the car off. I then put it into park, it starts the car back on and then I turn the car off to leave. That just makes no sense to me whatsoever. So this is a great option for me. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye-bye.